In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning this Fire Tablet into a smart home command center that will allow you to visualize and interact with your smart home. We're gonna be doing that by installing the Fully Kiosk browser and setting up our Sharp tools on our Amazon Fire Tablet. We are also going to install a live screensaver that is actually an aquarium with fish in it. So it looks really cool when your Sharp Tools is not in use. You basically have a little aquarium on your wall. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. And like I said in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the Fully Kiosk browser on our Amazon Fire tablet. And what the Fully Kiosk browser does is it allows us to basically look at one thing. It, it kind of goes over all of the other applications and it lets you do one thing, which is perfect for Sharp Tools because you really want it to be full screen so you can see all of your smart home and control it and all that. So what we're gonna be doing is first, we're going to be installing the Fully Kiosk Browser. We are going to go through all of the optimal settings and I've actually changed this since my last video. So you definitely want to make sure you get all of these settings set up correctly on the Fully Kiosk Browser. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing a live screensaver that's basically an aquarium. And then lastly, what we'll be doing is we'll be installing Sharp Tools on the Fully Kiosk browser. That way we don't have this bar at the top and we don't have any of this extra stuff and it just works so much better. So I'm just going to tap on a new tab here and where we want to go is bit.ly slash FKB123. So FKB123. And you have to have it all capitals. So it's case sensitive. Just type it in exactly like that and then select it. And it's going to take you over to the fullykiosk.com and it's going to take you to the spot where you can actually download. Since we are on a Fire tablet, we want to choose the option um, for the Fire OS. And you can see at the bottom it is downloading. And now we just need to tap on open and it will open that file. And now we just want to install this file. All right. And now our fully kiosk browser is now installed and we can tap on open. All right. So here is the fully kiosk browser. As you can see, it's basically taken over our fire tablet. You can't see anything else. Now, if we wanted to exit, we can slide over from the left and we can click on exit and just say yes, that's fine. And now we have exit. All right, so we are gonna be also installing that awesome screensaver I talked about earlier. All right, so to download that video file, we're going to tap on the plus sign at the top here just to get a new tab. And we're gonna to go to bit.ly slash, and this is gonna be CRA in all caps for Coral Reef Aquarium, and then one, two, three. So bit.ly slash CRA123. And then this is going to show you what the video is going to look like here. All right, now to save this to our Fire Tablet, we just need to press and hold on the video itself and then just tap on download video. So that is now downloading and it's gonna take a little bit of time to actually download. And this, I actually just downloaded a portion of this video from YouTube and I'll leave a link to the full video in the video description. And we go to details. Um, it does take some time, it's 158 megabytes. All right, so we have downloaded that um, file, which we're gonna be using for our screensaver. So now we can just go back out to the home screen. And then what we want to do is choose the fully kiosk browser. All right, now we just need to um, go through the optimal settings. So we're just going to slide over and go to settings at the top. Now, when we go into web content settings, which is the first one here, so we just want to go down a little bit here and right here where it says um, pop-ups, enable pop-ups, we're going to turn that to be on and a little bit further down, open URL schemes in other apps, turn that to be on and one more down here, open other URL schemes right here, turn that to be on. 
that's all we need to do in this section. So we can just go back. Now in the web browser settings, just we want to load start URL on home button. Tap that to be on. And another thing I like to do is enable the tap sound, which is right here. That way, when you're um, tapping on your dashboard, you actually get a tap sound. So you know if you actually tapped or not. That's very um, important. And that's a very handy feature of the Fully Kiosk. Right, we're done in this section, so let's go ahead and go back. And now we can go into advanced web settings. And in here, what you want to do is you want to enable JavaScript interface, which is this option right here. Tap that to be on. All right. And that is all we need to do in here. So we just tap the back button. All right. Now screensaver. This is one of the more important um, areas. So we're going to go into screensaver right here. And what we want to do is probably want to put the screensaver time up here to be around 30 seconds. Let's just do 20. And what we want to do is we want to choose a screensaver playlist. So this is where we're going to be choosing the file that we downloaded. So we're going to click add file and we're just going to tap allow here and tap add file again. And then um, the download obviously went into our download folder. So we're going to tap on that. And then we just want to choose the Relax Time Coral Reef Aquarium MP4 and just hit select. And now you can see that that's in the list. Now you could also have a bunch of different files in here. You can add as many as you want, or you can add a folder, or you can even add YouTube. But we're just going to use this file. Um, I have it there for you guys to use. Great for old people and young people. Everyone likes fish. All right, so we have um, done the timer and we have done the playlist. And the only other thing we need to do is let's change the fade in and out right here. And let's just take that to be zero. And that is all we need to do in this section. So we can go ahead and go back out of this section. All right, now the next section we want to do is the device management, which is right here. And in this section, we just want to turn off the unlock screen turn that to be off and a little bit further down um, we want to turn on launch on boot if your fire tablet reboots or restarts maybe because an update was installed it'll relaunch um, the fully kiosk browser all right and that is all we need to do in the device management section you can go back out of that and now we're going to be going into the motion detection plus right here now what I had done in the past is enabled the visual motion detection at the top. But I found that to be annoying because if it's dark in the room, it can't detect your motion. So what I have done, instead of using the visual motion detection, I have actually changed it to be enable acoustic motion detection, this option right here. And what that does is when it hears sound, then it wakes up this from the screensaver which is awesome because say if you're sitting across the room and you want to look at your sharp tools dashboard and um, obviously you're not close enough to for it to detect motion um, then what it's going to do is you can clap or any sound will turn it on and then you can check and make sure your doors are locked or whatever you want to look at on your sharp tools dashboard so now we can just tap on the back button. And then there's also device movement detection. I also do use this. So just turn it on at the top right here. And what that does is if the device moves, it will wake up. So um, you can tap the screen and it will wake up. All right, now we're almost done with these settings. So we're just going to go into the other settings at the bottom right here. All right, and here what I like to do is I like to turn on the regain focus timer. So I'm just going to tap that here and I'm just going to put in a thousand seconds. And what that will do is it, if you, if it somehow gets out, it will regain focus. Um, you can have that be shorter, but it does do like a little bit of a flicker. So I, I just put it on to be um, on and it will actually work after a thousand seconds. And that is pretty much all of the settings that we need to do. So now what we can do is if we go back out, um, we just need to um, 
enable all of these permissions. So we're just going to tap on OK. And we're going to allow this one. Allow this. Allow. Allow. All right, and there you can see our screensaver has come up. So that is good. And we can just tap anywhere and that will go away. Um, now, we also need to go into the actual app itself and permit usage access. Modify system settings. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn that on as well. And allow from this source, turn that on. I'm just hitting the back button. Draw over other apps, okay. Um, all of the permissions that it keeps on popping up, you just have to accept them all just so it's going to work. All right, so we have the Fully Kiosk browser set up. We also have the screensaver set up, which is the aquarium. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to add our shark tools to our Fully Kiosk browser. The easiest way to do this is actually go over here and we're just going to backspace all this stuff and we're just going to go to shark tools.io and then we're just going to tap start and then what that's going to do is it's going to go to the shark tools website so i'm just going to go ahead and log in and i'm just going to log in using my phone All right now once logged in you just want to go to your dashboards on the right hand side we want to choose the three dots or the dashboard that we want to use on our amazon fire tablet in our fully kiosk browser we're going to tap on that at the very bottom here it says fully kiosk browser and that is because all of the settings that we set up this allows this to work and all we have to do is set as start url tap that all right so now after we have chosen that what we can do is we can slide over from the left and tap on the home icon there go to start url and then it's going to go ahead and reload and then bam there is our dashboard so here you can have um, our dashboard and then we have um, i have a couple cameras added to this And then we have all of our most important thing like our security and stuff like that. Now you can easily visualize your smart home. If I unlock the back lock here, now we can see that the back lock is unlocked and it's red and the icon is flashing. That way it gets your attention from across the room. There's something unlocked that I need to look at. Um, obviously we can turn on lights as well. So there's all kinds of different things you can do with Sharp Tools. Obviously to use Sharp Tools, you do need to have smart things or a Hubitat hub, and that will bring all of your devices into Sharp Tools here. Also, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but every time I tap, like if I lock the back door now, you can hear that tap. And that's just a, an easy way to know that you've actually tapped. And now also, if we wait long enough, um, then the screensaver is going to turn on. If I talk, it'll turn off. So you gotta be quiet. So if I wanted to just turn off the screensaver, all I have to do is talk and you can see that it turns off, which is really handy because like basically every time you walk by, you're gonna make noise. So it's going to unlock. Um, now, obviously you don't need to use this with Sharp Tools, um, but this is the best way to um, use Sharp Tools, to have it be on a dedicated tablet, put it on your wall, and it's very easy to set up a dashboard like this. All right, and that is how you add a live screensaver to your Amazon Fire tablet when using the Fully Kiosk browser and Sharp Tool. Now your entire family can see and interact with your smart home. They don't have to have an app or anything complicated, it's just super simple. Everyone can use it. So let me know if you have any questions or have any problems. If you have any other settings that you use, let me know in the comments below. Also check out my other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.